I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a, I'm an entrepreneur. Hey, 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 what? Very busy day today. You guys have never seen this side of me, but um, I had to print some stuff as my kid's dirty ass room. But I had to wake up today a little bit earlier. I had to put some vinyl on the vinyl cutter. I don't know if you can hear it, because uh, I have an order that needs to get done. Um, I have to ship it out. So I'm working on that now, uh, getting everything going, getting my kids ready for school. So I got that vinyl ready because I have to go down to my supplier to pick up the shirts because they're for little kids. They're actually really cute. So this is day three of my uh, transformation or remodel of the shop. I got a section on my day. So at the beginning of the day, is just going to be cleaning up the shop. Um, and then I have to go run, go get the shirts because for will call and then I'll come back. And then the focus is just printing them because I want to get them done before. I want to get them done today if I can, um, the latest tomorrow so that I can deliver them to the customer on Friday. So told y'all I seen a little mice out here, man. Little bastard. How he died? Hope his little cousin and friend died too. He built himself or dug himself a little grave, little bastard. Oh we, oh we, oh. So day number three, y'all. A lot has changed. Don't mind the walls, and I'm gonna paint them, but this is a shop as of right now. So you guys can see, I made a lot of progress. It still looks like a lot, because it is, but I made tons and tons of progress. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so when you walk into the shop, that's gonna be the press. I'm literally taking out the entire, all the floors, and I'm gonna clean them, scrub them, and make them, bring them back to life again until I'm able to come in, if I want to, and redo them. All these boxes are inventory that I gotta take out to my shed. That box and those, some tools, because I've been dialing in my press. I need that to run right. It's been all messed up and whacked out. Registration's getting off, so I need to go in and dial that up. Also need to clean it. Just had an electrician come in. He's gonna come back and make that look nice again and put the rods and all that stuff. I don't even know what that's called. But all this that you guys saw before is no longer here. So gotta fix those up, make those look nice. I gotta take that to the back. These are all the files for the current customers that I'm gonna get a nice, amazing file cabinet and make them look good and put the names of the customers and all of their artwork in there so I can get to it when I need to. That's something I'm gonna have to do once I get my desk and stuff set up. These are all of the screens that I'm not keeping. Those screens are terrible, y'all. So I'm getting rid of those. The main reason why the electrician was here is because he was moving my uh, conveyor dryer to the corner along the side. I wanted it that way. And it's gonna be there because I'm gonna paint the walls and everything. So it kinda sucks. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get behind it. But whatever, I'll figure that out. Um, that's a ladder, you guys. Okay, so now let's head back here. This was made the biggest transformation, but so I'm gonna switch these out, honestly. But right now I gotta work with what I have. I'm still getting rid of that. I just gotta wait. I'm gonna have someone professionally come in and get rid of that. But I'm still undecided about this room. I might have that as like my ink room. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. But that's the room. I need to clean all this up. This floor, this is probably gonna be the first floor that I'm gonna do. Um, just because I'm gonna take all this out. I'm gonna put the floor down, make it look nice. But that's this. Oh, we're not even looking at the bathroom. The bathroom looks terrible. I know some of you guys are gonna be judging. But it's okay because the goal is by the time this is done, you guys are going to see what I see. And I was going to actually put up a video of uh, the digital image that I have that I created for the business, but I'm not going to do that. I just want you guys to be fully surprised when I have it out. Okay, so I know yesterday, I feel like I'm going to have an avalanche of shirt boxes, but I, I know yesterday I, I kind of was trying to share my experience as much as possible with you guys and all the steps that it's taken for me to buy this business and flip the business and stuff. But there's one thing that stuck with me that I talk to myself, which is very weird, but people who talk to themselves, we all understand why. Sometimes I need to like explain things to myself before I actually say it, which is weird, but whatever. Um, I, when I went home, I was thinking about like another process. So let's say, because for a long time, I didn't know, ooh, this truck's tires bald as hell. But, sidetrack. But essentially, when I was 
thinking about growing my business, one of the ways that I thought that I was gonna be able to grow it is by literally just going and get a, getting a store for myself and financing it and things like that, saving up money. Um, little did I know that it was gonna be me. Ooh, sorry guys, I'm tired. Um, little did I know that my journey was gonna be me actually buying a business. And this is the weird thing about it. Because, you know, imagine if I just, you know, got a storefront and put my stuff in there and, you know, got everything brand new and it was just like a whole totally different experience, right? It would be different because in that situation, I would have to basically really start from scratch. Not really because I'm already, like my side hustle, I would have been able to build customers through the side hustle, but really me like moving into a storefront and stuff like that, like people would have to like know what my business is. But me taking over this business, one of the biggest challenges was like inheriting, inheriting all of his stuff, you know, like the items that he collected over 15 years. And you know, like there was there's just so much stuff and just his process and like all those different things. So I think that's probably one of the biggest challenges that I had. Like I do look at it like, oh man, imagine if I got, you know, I, I was leasing a spot that was already set up. Or that was like clean, the floors were clean, the walls were painted, like, but I wouldn't have been able to get the business for the price that I got it. You know, I, there are a lot of things come with that. You know, you can you can get a car for 2,500, but the car that you get for 2,500 is not gonna be a Porsche, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be something that's gonna need some work. Um, same thing applies with like, I guess with houses and stuff like that too. Like, yeah, you can go, you can get a fixer upper, you can go get a brand new house, you know, and you're not gonna need to do anything, it's a turnkey. But if you go get a fixer upper, you're gonna have to remodel and fix stuff. So I think that's probably been the biggest thing for me is just kinda understanding that reality and doing my best to kinda stick to the plan, stick to my end vision, because it was very, 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 there, I can't even get it. was the high definition 3D. Uh, what is that called? I don't even know. It, it was vivid. There you go. That's the word. So it was very vivid. I need some coffee. It was, it was a very vivid vision on how I wanted this business to be set up and how I want to run it. And the biggest, the hardest thing for me now is like what I said earlier, having those obstacles of me inheriting everything that he had and he's come. I've had to kind of understand what I need to work on first and what can wait. I gotta really figure that out. I gotta like sit down and say, okay, like obviously you wanna go in and you wanna fix this and you wanna do this and you wanna do that. But it's with the business, like I really have to be cautious of the money that I'm spending and the time that I'm putting into certain things. Like I have to really be strategic, like go hard, work hard, but know that I have to be very frugal when it comes to not only my time, but the money in the business as well. So, cause now it's not a side hustle. Like if I spend a little bit of extra money for my check or something, <laughs> it is that that check's not gonna come back. So I have to make sure that my return on cost is good. You know, so I can't just spend money on something and be like, oh, I hope. I'm, I'm gonna have to do that. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm gonna have to test out certain things and certain things are gonna be a gamble. But at the end of the day, like figure it out. What's up everyone? Welcome to day four. This is now Thursday. Thursday, day four of me. Oops, no damn team going. You guys just catch me slip, riding dirty, baby. Um, but welcome to day four of the renovation, or you know, me taking over the business and growing my business. Today is a very busy day. Uh, even though it's day four, I have to pay rent at the shop for the shop. So I need to go to the bank. I need to get a check. I like checks because I get to track them and things like that. And plus, my landlord, I haven't been able to sign up to the online portal. Obviously, I would want to get the online portal because I don't have to do a snail mail and I don't have, actually have to physically go over to the uh, the office to give it. And I'm late, so I need to get it in now because I don't want it to be tomorrow or after the 5th because we all know what happens when you're late and your rent is submitted after the 5th. <sighs> late fees apply. So, but anyways, I'm actually on my way to my in-law's house. Um, I need to go pick up my postcards and business cards. And I've had a couple of customers that have been, or potential customers that have been asking about, you know, the business and things like that. And uh, I need to get those out. You know, right now, everything is still showing B&D Enterprise now, even though I do own, well, my LLC owns B&D, but I own the LLC, so essentially, yeah, I do own it. But uh, 
crazy about it is people still see it as B&D &D and I have a huge marketing campaign that I'm going to be uh, putting out there. Uh, it's most likely going to uh, be a thing in October because I have an idea for October. Um, so I'm just trying to get all that together. So I'm saying that to say this, I need right now to have at least my business cards and my postcards to actually promote the business, promote the new, the newly taken over business. All right guys, so uh, I'm blessed because I do, even though I'm uh, switching the shop around, which you guys can still see, it's a work in progress. Um, I have a few orders that I need to get done. One being the one that I picked up yesterday. Well, two that I picked up yesterday, one I already shipped out and everything. And then uh, the other one I need to print today. I started printing the backs yesterday. Now I'm gonna be printing the shirt, uh, the front. Uh, or I'm gonna finish the backs and then I need to do all of the fronts. They have a left chest. So I'll be working on that, getting that done. But I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit. I can't show you too much because right now you guys are on my conveyor. It's already preloaded everything. And I think everything might have to take my shirts off. I need to heat up my flattens, little systems over there. I don't know if you guys can see, but at that station, there goes my flash dryer right there, right there. That's my flash dryer. So I need to have each platen under there for about, I'll say a minute, because I want the adhesive that I put on it to get its tack back. In order for me to get its tack back, it needs to be heated up. So I need to do that. I already heated up the flash dryer and I heated up the conveyor dryer, but I forgot that I needed to heat that up. So we're going on that, but I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. This is what I'm printing. ABC Youth Academy. Uh, came out really good. Nice bright white with the red to go over it. So I need to do this and then I'm reprinting the left chest. Right here, so getting all that done. 